It's time to gear up for an adventure around New York City. Time Out New York is filling your social calendar with the hottest things to do, coolest places to go, and people you've got to meet. So sit back, relax, and don't miss this. We know that being single in New York isn't easy. In a place with so many people, it can be really hard to meet someone. Think you've run out of options? Well, fear not. There's a new show in town setting up single New Yorkers. Will two of your best friends, a zany host and a random celebrity, be able to find you true love? We're about to find out at the Fix Up Show. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about what you're looking for in a date, what you're hoping to uh, find, find tonight. Um, well, uh, I guess, uh, a really nice personality, someone who's funny, mm -hmm. uh, someone who um, isn't psychotic. Oh, Some, how did you come up with the idea for the Fix Up Show? I came up with the idea for the Fix Up Show because I'd been doing a live stage version of What's My Line, the old TV game show, and that kind of ran its course, but I still felt that there was something there with the idea of doing a live panel show that involves celebrities and also real people. So I was trying to think of how I could work that in, and I just thought, there's something about dating that's really fun, and ended up combining them and just thought we'd try it out. Traveling is it, probably my biggest passion. It, it's what I live for. And where are some of the places that you've been? Um, I've been to every continent except um, Antarctica. Oh, that's and, the best uh, one. I know. <laughs> The show works like this. There's a single person, could be man or a woman, old, young, gay, straight, who agrees to be fixed up on a date by two people who know them well and one celebrity they've never met. And those three people form a panel and interview three prospective matches for that single person. And by the end of the show, the panel chooses one of those matches. Those two people go out on a real date and we find out how they did the next week. What is in your refrigerator right now? Oh, wow. Uh, hmm. Roommate's food and my beer. <laughs> <laughs> and a few body parts. Yeah. <laughs> We have a celebrity guest on each show tonight. It's yes. Dick Cavett. I hate to resort to the suggestion yes. sheet, but I notice it says, What do you love about men women? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, um, well, let me, let me try to sharpen that, as they yeah. say in philosophy class. Yeah. Um, when you see a man woman walking down the street, <laughs> Are you offended? I usually keep a wide breath. Yeah. yeah you wouldn't be wise to in a pink tie. Uh, I think that uh, one of the things that's great about the format is that a celebrity is going to have different kinds of questions for a potential match than two people who actually know the single that they're setting up. So I, I expect uh, Dick Cavett's questions to be a little more witty, a little more sharp, a little more insightful, and maybe even just off the wall. Oh, dear. I hope this isn't too controversial, but um, <laughs> what is the capital of North Dakota? Oh, wow. Wow. I should know that. Uh, is, is it Bismarck? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and who are some other celebrity judges that are going to be coming up? Some of the panelists that we have coming up include Craig Bierko, Pat Kiernan, Mike Ian Black, Casey Wilson, uh, the Pulitzer Prize winning playwright David Lindsay Abair. We also have Judy Gold, the uh, comedian, okay. coming up. I'm noticing uh, an earpiece. Yeah. Or may I ask what that is? Or? Actually, I'm, I'm sure you guys are all wondering why I've called you here tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is this an intervention? Because I'm Bolton. No, um, actually, I was born, I was born deaf, um, and I never heard until I was 17. What? So, what? Yeah, I can only imagine just to, just what an, what an experience that is like to, to not be able to, to hear well and then suddenly it, it, hear. It's very quiet. It was very well, quiet. <laughs> New York definitely has inspired the Fix Up show because there's something about the energy of New York and about being single here and about the, the pursuit of people. We've done, at this point, seven shows and uh, you know we've had a, a few successful Fix Ups, people who want to go out again. And these are people who would not have met otherwise if they hadn't come on the Fix Up show. Well, with that said, what are your qualifications to be a matchmaker? I have little to no qualifications to be a matchmaker. Um, I mean, I think I'm a pretty perceptive person and I've certainly dated a lot and I've certainly uh, gone through a lot of online dating profiles, uh, but you know, I certainly don't claim to be an expert in matchmaking. You have a certain type, uh, you were telling me, right? You're like a, a... Yeah, I like someone who's probably taller than me when mm -hmm. I wear heels. And when I don't wear heels, too, mm -hmm. so, you know. <laughs> so you don't, you don't want someone to keep varying how, how Yeah, I know. I don't like people when they 
they shrink and then they right. tile it. There is no audience participation, which I just want to make sure people are aware of. This is not a singles event. It's not a speed dating thing. If you come see the show, all you have to do is enjoy the show. That's all we ask. Uh, you don't. No one's going to be called up on stage or picked on or anything like that. Um, but I think it's fun even if you're not single, even if you don't necessarily know somebody in the show, because they're just this. There's this fun energy and kind of tension about uh, who's going to get fixed up with who and how is this going to work. And there's because there's sort of a natural tension and uncertainty about fixing up and dating. It really leads to a lot of comedy also, and that's that's where I try to come in. I jumped off a cliff in Switzerland, um, which would be called paragliding. Ah, oh, um, you weren't being chased. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I got so the place to see the show is at the Triad, which is on the Upper West Side on 72nd between Broadway and Columbus. <laughs> Tickets are only $15 at the door, but only $10 in advance. So you can go to our website at thefixupshow.com, get your $10 tickets. There's a two-drink minimum uh, at the Triad, but they're very good drinks. <laughs> All right, panel, uh, the time has come for you to reveal which of our two gentlemen will get the date with Lauren. So between, between excuse me, with Lauren, yes. Between Nolan and Alex, let's now reveal it. One, two, three, is it Nolan or Alex? We have Nolan, Nolan, and... Oh, God, I wrote Nolan, and I and met, I met <laughs> Alex. Who is this Lauren? We've certainly gotten to see her before, but now you get to meet her. Meet her. She's an actress originally from Cincinnati. Let's say hello again to Lauren. <laughs> Our shows now are on Saturdays at 7 o'clock, and uh, you'll be out of here by 9. You can go on to the rest of your night uh, inspired by the fact that there are indeed attractive, viable, single people in New York.